Next, we have Brian, who is a owner and operator of the Connecticut Tree Stump Removal. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for this uh, opportunity. Um, so tell me, Brian, what was your first job and how old were you at the time? Uh, thinking back, uh, my first job was, um, I was 14 years old. Uh, my family was um, you know, not so well off, we were a little poor, and I had the opportunity to uh, apply for a job through the town of Wallingford that had a special program. Yeah. Uh, at that time, I believe it was CETA, or I'm, I'm not even 100% on, on the name. But it, uh, it had, it, and that was when I was 14. Yeah. So it, it gave us an opportunity to work over the summer. Yeah. So, and I, um, I worked, 14, 15, I worked as um, an aide in the janitorial services on, in the high schools, yeah. uh, cleaning out and helping, helping the janitors in and throughout the local high schools. Were there any transportation issues? Uh, oh, obviously, uh, there was a transportation issue since my mom had was working, so I um, used the next best thing available, which was my ten speed. <laughs> so, Ooh. so that's where that's how I was able to get back and forth to work. Yeah. So, was your first job what you expected it to be? Um, well, not really knowing because prior to that, I really uh, only. Um, Maybe uh, had a couple of paper roots or mowed, mowed a couple of lawns, so this was definitely something new and different. Uh, so there was there's there's a lot to learn. So you really didn't know anything. Uh, as far yeah, it was it wasn't. I'm not quite sure if it was what I expected it to be, but uh, it it turned out okay. It actually yeah. turned out real well. Yeah. What was your most memorable experience? Anything in particular? I guess uh, there were probably a couple of them. Uh, memorable experiences were really getting the opportunity to meet some new people in town, yeah. maybe uh, gather a little bit of guidance or or knowledge from from the older people on the crew. Uh, uh, one of the older gentlemen on the crew at that particular time was the owner of uh, Gigante's Restaurant, oh. uh, which has been around in 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 Wallingford for as far as as long as I can remember yeah. so and that was nice you know so he would show you know do it this way and teach you so you know there there's definitely a learning curve mm. you know there so what did you want to be well uh, at that time um, I'll be honest with you I had no clue <laughs> of what I really wanted to do um, uh, things were um, in retrospect, they were a little bit differently with, you know, today's events with uh, the the advancement in technology. Yeah. So it's really, uh, it was. Uh, I really didn't have a clear path as to what I really wanted to do. You know, did lessons from your first job influence your future work experience? No. I had some pretty good uh, work ethics that were you know given to me from my parents. Yeah. You know, and that really just uh, working. In that environment, really kind of reinforced it, yeah. you know. So, you know, it, it the uh, the bottom line was that if you work hard for something, then you'll be able to obtain that or or that goal, which which was good because that's it's paid off in the long run. Yeah, um, being exactly. an owner operator of my own business today. Yeah. <coughs> so, if you could use only one word to describe your first job, what would that word be? Um. <laughs> well. One word, please. I don't know if it would be exciting or, um, I should say, you know, I could say it was, uh, huh. you know, like, you know, based on, you know, how you worked and anything. You know? Yeah, it, I, I, the first, uh, the first word that came to my mind was exciting because it was just definitely different. Yeah. You know, it, it was uh, it was out of the norm routine from a, an average 14, 15 year old from what yeah. I was doing, yep. you know, as opposed and then working with um, some older people, you yeah. know, which, you know, I mean, even though it was only janitorial duties, yeah. but it was still, it was something different and something new. So it was kind of exciting. Mm. So if you could do your first job over again, would you? If I had to, absolutely. I mean, it's if it came down to where uh, I had to provide for my family, absolutely. You know, I, I, it comes from um, maybe some integrity where you need to understand what I what I would be needing to do 
to support my family yeah. or to to make ends meet somehow, I would yep. uh, I would definitely absolutely go back into it. Really, it's not that complicated. It's not that yeah. hard, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you put your mind to it, uh, to the task, and uh, and get it done, then uh, you move forward to the next task. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. So, you know, do you have any success tips for those seeking their first job in this generation? And I don't want to speak for the whole generation yeah. because there's definitely a generation gap. Yep. Um, but I think that uh, some, you know, it's developing a good work ethic, you know, being stern, uh, being devote to what you're doing, giving it your 110 yep. percent um, are very good characteristics to build to build yourself up, to, to increase your self-esteem, to help you move forward, yeah. to develop good social skills, which are, you know, pretty important today, even though, I mean, everybody's pretty used to texting yeah. now, but um, one-on-one -on -one conversation, eye-to-eye uh, -eye social skills are extremely important, and I think I learned a little bit of that, too, yeah. uh, back years ago. Yeah. So that has definitely helped me out in, in, in today, especially working with the public on yep. a daily basis yeah. which is very important you know because you have to socialize well thank you for being on the show it was a pleasure to talk well, with thank you, you for, the know, for sharing your stories and um, it was a pleasure I'm, I'm yep. glad I was able to uh, participate in this and uh, yeah. wish everybody good luck mm -hmm.